Hi there, I am Glacy from Brazil. Welcome to my teaching world. Today my teaching tips are on this book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I have noticed that many teachers do not know how to use the full book. What do I mean? I mean that, besides telling the whole story, take advantages of everything you have in the book. For example, as you open the book, you're going to notice that all animals that are in this story are going to be here. You can play that game called I Spy. You can say, I spy a brown bear, and the kid has to go and just point at the bear. I spy, I know, two yellow ducks, and they have to go, one, two, two yellow ducks. If you Google or if you go to YouTube and type in Brown Bear, what do you see? You're going to see many videos about this book. There are songs. There's one that um, sounds like this. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. You can make your own songs. If you don't feel comfortable singing, you can chant. Do you know what a chant is? A chant is simply vocabulary spoken over a background of music or a rhythm. For example, instead of saying, brown bear, what do you see? You go like, brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bear looking at me. The use of chants use repetition to engage the right side of brain's musical intelligence. Through the use of repetition and having fun together, students will just improve their automatic use of language. So teacher, when you improve your ability to tell a story, sing the story, and change the story, you will have the opportunity to use this book more times. And if for every time you tell it or use the book, you propose a different activity, it's going to sound like a whole new book for them every time. They're not going to get bored. And by repeating the same words every day or every time, they will memorize the words and they will um, improve their vocabulary. The tips I'm going to give you now are good for any kind of story. Before telling this story, you know, make a prediction with them. What is the book about? And have them think. Do not give them the answer elicit from them instead of just giving them the answer so this is a brown bear no you would go like what is this if they do not know instead of saying it's a bear you just give them options is it a bear or a dog when you do this they usually get it's a bear maybe they don't know um, the name is bear but they know it's not a dog give them time to think if they go like just give them time. Be patient. About pronunciation, always model the pronunciation. Like in Portuguese, fish sounds like peixe. And it's very common to students um, to look at the fish and say peixe. So, you know, just say, okay, look at me. Have them look at your mouth and say fish. And have them repeat after you, fish. And of course, acknowledge their efforts praise them every time um, they get the right answer. You say, very good, good job, great, you know. If they can read, you can have them just, you know, um, match the name of the animal to the animal. It can be, you know, using a pencil just with the finger. If they can't read, just have them point at the animal and say what it is. You know, just have them point and say, or you can ask them questions. What animal is this? What color is it? How big is it? You can also ask them which animals live in the water, on the land, on the air. Hi, Jasmine. Hello. How are you? How are you? Are you good? Very good. Yeah, so what book is this? It's Brown Bear, right? Yeah. Where's Brown Bear? Brown Bear. Where? Where is Brown Bear? <gasps> Do you see Brown Bear? Yes. Where is the red bird? Ah, uh, uh, where is the blue horse? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, subscribe to my channel and let us grow together. Teacher, as I always say in all my videos, be amazing and you will have wonderful results.